story tonight at 6. Bibb County leaders are responding to the most recent resignation at the district attorney's office. 41 NBC's Peyton Lewis has reaction from the sheriff's office about the resignation and how it will impact the justice system in Macon. Not just one person leaving is going to make the whole DA's office shut down, nor is just any particular person leaving from the sheriff's office going to cause the sheriff's office to shut down. The last assistant district attorney of Anita Howard's original six has resigned from the Bibb County DA's office. Sandra Matson resigned on Monday and worked in the Macon Judicial Circuit for 26 years. In a statement, District Attorney Anita Howard said, quote, as the DA, we must prepare and be ready for change. We have appreciate Ms. Sandra Matson's dedication to the Macon Judicial Circuit and wish her well in her future endeavors. The wheels of justice will continue to turn. We reached out to Matson about her resignation, but she declined to comment. All of the assistant district attorneys that started under Anita Howard's leadership in February have resigned within the last six weeks. Eric Edwards was among the first group of five to resign from the office on September 1st. He told us, quote, I'm glad to have worked there and to have been able to represent the interest of the people of Bibb County. And now I'm back in my home circuit in the Houston DA's office. Howard's statement also included that the DA's office, along with the Bibb County Sheriff's office, is, quote, seeing an increase in talent departures. Sheriff David Davis confirmed his office is having staffing issues but says he's hiring new deputies as quickly as possible. You know, whatever is going on at the DA's office is the DA's office, and then we have our issues here at the Sheriff's office. We are hiring people. We've hired about 30 part-time uh, uh, deputies in the jail. We have a number of applicants for uh, positions out on the road and for full-time uh, law enforcement here at the Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Davis says although the departures from the DA's office will impact case backlogs, it will not impact the Sheriff's Office side of justice. We have people that have been in jail for, for going on three years, so you can't just point that, the finger at this particular DA who's only been in office for eight months. Uh, this is something that's been going on for a couple of years, and there's a lot of factors. The pandemic has really just, just hampered, wreaked havoc on the court system all the way through. DA Anita Howard did share she's made five new hires for replacement ADAs on October 9th. In Macon, Peyton Lewis, 41, NBC News. And we did reach out to District Attorney Anita Howard's office for more information about the resignations and the new team of ADAs, but never received a comment. Keisha Carter with the DA's office says they plan to host a news conference in November to answer our questions.